World War III, it's inevitable, but not inadvisable. Washington, the East-West writer. In case you didn't read the news, the next great war is coming. I won't explain US militarism here. That's because we'll blame it on the Russians and the Chinese anyway. People are not allowed to do research on peace anymore, because it would postpone war, which is unhelpful, war is progress. War is creativity. No war, no peace. War is cleaning up the mess and starting a newer, a better life. Especially the losers. They'll join for the first time the winner's side. So, without too much sweat, here's what you should know about the coming conflict. 1. Russia, China, and Iran and so on must be liberated, just like we liberated Germany and Japan, only more so. So, if you stay in those countries and don't belong there, get out. 2. Race, gender, and nations are social constructs and must be eliminated. There's only. America. If your place is still an anti-America, worse, a monoculture, we'll send a lot migrants over there to make you very, very diverse. 3. No other country or group shall have weapons of mass destruction to defend itself, ever again. The USA and its allies will protect you. 4. We will call the leaders of our enemies racist, homophobic, misogynist, women-hating, war criminals. This will be written in the history books. There's still time for history deniers to step down, in no chronological order. Or, we take you out one after another, or all simultaneously or whatever. 5. A global system of governance and banking shall be established under the control and leadership of Wall Street and the Clinton Foundation to govern the affairs of mankind. 6. Russia will become a The Economist subscription. China merges with Disney. Syria and Libya shall be made iPhone apps. The South China Sea shall be renamed American Sea. We will also accept International Sea, because that's the same. 7. Yes, Facebook and YouTube will continue services. Relax. <laughs>